Hey guys, this is Nikki and Morrison's big face. <laughs> Come here, say hi. Come here. Say hi. Well, you can't really see him very well, but he's here. Good boy. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying I'm trying to make a video here. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Go lay down. Go lay down. <gasps> say what you did, big lug. Poor guy. He doesn't understand what he's doing. I have you propped up on um, some uh, planting pots because yeah, I mean it's the only way I can go outside and catch some light. So what I thought I'd do for you guys today is do a witch tag. Um Again, I'm losing light because I didn't start this till almost 5.30. But, here we go, okay. Witch's tag. Number one. Does your sign... Oh, and there might be some noise in the background. I apologize. Somebody's doing some work. Does your sign, sun sign properly portray you? I am a Virgo. And I have to say yes. Um, I am... My birthday is August 31st, so I'm pretty much on the cusp of uh, Virgo and Leo, um, and I'm very organized. I, um, I'm kind of naive in a way. Um, I used to be more naive than I am. Um, I've grown up a lot, you know. Um, yeah, it betrays me perfectly, almost. Well, it betrays me a lot, let's put it that way. Not perfectly but a lot um next question by the way guys these are 15 questions so i hope my phone lasts uh what songs bring you the most magical vibes personally i love otep please don't not go for my stuff morrison okay i love otep um don't knock over don't knock it over go lay down boy go lay down okay go lay down um, I love Otep. There's this one song called, uh, called Unveiled, which I listen to a lot to get me into the mood. And what I also do is I listen to a lot of um, binaural beats um, to get me into the mood. And a lot of times when I'm doing ritual, I'll listen to those beats and it'll put me in a trance. So, those help a lot. Um... That, that's pretty much about it. I don't really like the um, old school kind of pagan -y music, you know. Um, I don't like that stuff, but which of your deities, guides, or ancestors is the most sarcastic with you? Probably my grandfather, my ancestor. He, when he was alive, he would um, take things away and like hide them. Like, for example, we would be eating lunch or dinner, and I'd look away, and I'm like five or six, sorry about the noise, I'm like five or six, you know, and I would look away, and I'll look back, and my plate will be gone. He would put my plate, he would hold my plate underneath the table just to mess with me, you know, and he does that now that he's gone to this day. I will lose stuff, and I would look for him everywhere, and I swear I will look in the same place multiple, multiple, multiple times and it will not be there. I will come back later, still looking for the item, go back to that same spot, it will be there. He still does this to me. to this, And he does it to my husband too now. <laughs> I love him and miss him. Um, biggest witchy mess up or misinterpretation? <sighs> That's a hard one. Um... Honestly, I can't think of one. I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means, but I haven't really messed up. Um, 